everyone so i'm back again with another video so in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make this type of frame yes it's actually similar to the first one i made but the material i used is totally different yes i've used this type of material before on this channel but uh there's a different way of making it i laminated the first one i made which i use uh that clock uh customized clock but this time around i did not um, put any lamination you can see how it's looking there's no lamination to this so i'm just trying to show you different ways you can make this type of frame and you still have uh, something very nice and beautiful there are a lot of uh, materials out there that you can use so i'm just trying to bring it out for you to know to be able to choose and also to be able to choose if you want to sell it uh this one will be more cheaper than the first one i made which is the flesh flesh is a little bit expensive and canvas is more expensive so if you have a customer that i want to make something like this and is saying you cannot pay then you just use this material to make for the person so you can either laminate it before framing so if you want to know how i did that one the lamination you can just watch my um, video i'm going to link some link in the description box the um act frame and also the customized um customized clock that i made i use the same material for you see you can frame anything basically so i hope you are ready to monetize this too so if you want to learn please let's jump right into the tutorial So welcome to class i the first thing we need is a plywood and that is what i have there and the measurement of my plywood the width is 23 and the length is 16 the width is 23 and the length is 16 you know i always tell you it depends on the kind of plywood that you want and of course we need our picture you need to look for a very good resolution um picture that have a good resolution so that you have a very good and bright um, picture and i decide to print the picture on sav 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 is like sticker i hope you get it and you can see it has a back because it's sticky we are just going to be gumming it to the plywood this time around so and of course we need a hook to be able to hang it to the wall and i will be making use of ply um screwdriver to do that so that is all we have need for this uh the measurement of my sav is the same thing with my plywood i have this plywood at home i usually use it for board but um, I'm going to be using it to make this frame today. Now you can see the extra space for the side. Always make sure you tell them that, that they should put, even if it's just one inch. It depends on the width, um, the side width of your uh, um, plywood. So I've cut the white parts out and it's time to start um, gumming it. So. When you are working with SAV, you need to be very careful. As simple as it can be, you can just ruin your picture. You can just ruin the SAV if you don't know how to do it. So look at it very closely. That is why I'm not rushing. I decide not to even speed this uh, up. Just see what I'm doing. The first thing you're going to do is just to try and remove uh, the paper back. The paper at the back and is extremely sticky you can see as i'm removing it is even coming back <laughs> to meet uh, the picture you can see you can see it's extremely sticky so when you are removing it and you want to stick it to the wood you don't remove it at at um, at at once just do it gradually you can see i just remove a little paper a little part of it and i decide to gum it to it you can see just watch what i'm doing and uh, i make sure that i started from where i wanted to start 
you can see the extra space i try to leave it so that i will use it to cover the edges of the plywood and you can see what i'm doing as i'm just coming is i'm pulling the back see what i'm doing i didn't remove the back at once you can see then you need something like a squeegee if you have squeegee i hope you know squeegee yes our screen printing um for screen printing if you have squeegee you can just go ahead and use your squeegee and if you cannot lay your hand on your squeegee like mine <laughs> I just have to use this book. You can just use this a book or something that you know can just flatten it. You know, we don't want bubbles. It's just to prevent bubbles and to make sure the picture is laid flat on the wood. And that is what I'm doing so that you get a professional look. You can see, make sure you do that very well. You just make sure you spare the hair. You don't want hair to be inside your picture. And you can see what I'm doing is stress-free. If you remove the paper before gobbing it, <laughs> you cannot even do it. You won't be able because it will just be sticking everywhere, stick to each other and you won't like it at all. So please follow this trick. Follow what I'm doing. Do it the way I'm teaching you. You, you will love the outcome. And make sure as you are going, you are just uh, pulling it and you are using your squeegee to expel the hair. It's as important as making the frame itself. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you can see. And when you are doing yours, I told you that you should look for a name. Do you have a name yet for your business? If you have, you can see I have my name over there small logo that made creations and i put my phone number so it's time for the side of the plywood at this point i didn't know my uh my phone was not recording again so when i finished it I, that was when i checked the um, video i realized uh that it was not recording so what i did to the side i cut i used scissors to cut the edge just to slit the edge you can see i slit the edge you can see how it is then when i slit the head so i just um pick one part of it and i fold it in and i decide i fold the other one in like the um, flesh the way we did the flesh too but you know we didn't cut flesh but this one because this one is sticky it's, it's gummy so you need to cut it so that you'll be able to have that envelope edge um uh, envelope edge so that it will be very neat i hope you get that you do that to the four sides of the wood you can see yes just fold it that way and it's going to be fine and neat and here comes the way it looks like yeah you can see the back of the wood and this is what we have now See what we have beautiful and nice so for the edges too you have to use your squeegee to flatten it to flatten it because there will definitely be bubbles so you need to flatten it so that it will be smooth and very very nice you want to make something professional now here eh? if you are charging then you make sure that what you are giving is actually good yes me i, I can charge but I will make sure that what I am delivering is top notch, yes. So that the person will know what he or she has paid for. And this is what we have. You can see we don't have any white edges. It's just like an extension. And that is why I said that you should always make like 1 inch or 1.5 extension. So that you'll be able to use it to cover. See what we have. See the front part of it now we need to put something to hang it to the wall so i'm going to find the middle part of 23 which is the width of my frame and the middle part is 11.5 and that is what i have here you can see the hook the anger i bought it with it they sell the two together it's just for 100 naira. i got it for 100 naira. it used to be 15 naira before you know Things are now quite expensive. 
so i'm just going to use my screwdriver to just screw it you see the hole that is there just put the screw and i'll just to get this um this hook you will get it from uh those that sell frames that those mod modding frames those frames you get from them so you can see and that is what we have you'll be able to hang it to the wall like this see the back white and very neat and that is why it's good to use those um colored um plywood so you won't have to be covering the back again and this is what we are have now so how neat and beautiful see the edges too and see the extension by the side you know it's good to put those extensions so you can see the final look, 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 look. See the edges, see the way the edges is very neat, very fine. So this is how it looks. See how simple it is. So you can see how simple and easy it is to make something like this. So please monetize everything I'm teaching you on this channel. All right, so announcement again. <laughs> yes. Damides TV is organizing online training. I'm sure you've seen the video that I posted, um, um, video before this that I posted that we are going to start our online training on screen printing. So if you are interested, I'm going to drop the link in the description box below. That will take you to the WhatsApp group where um, we will register. The tutorial is just 5,000 Naira and it's loaded it's loaded please do me a favor by just go there and just click the link it will take you to uh, the registration will be ready to just be talking of five thousand era so i'll see you in class thank you so much for watching the video to the end bye